coming up on this episode, I put my hands where I probably shouldn't. I start a small fire and get a little too much enjoyment out of something. <laughs> oh, that delivery truck. That's a good looking delivery truck. God damn it. I was too excited. I didn't turn the microphone on. So let's do a quick walk around with sound on. What did we get? E30, M3, rear quarters. They are heavily damaged, but I have them. I have both of them. Definitely gonna need to do some repairs on them. Both the tail lights are rusted out. You can see why they've just gone with the, they've just bought whole new panels for everything. So this is the same subscriber that sent me the genuine bumper, genuine rear bumper, the side skirts. They got their new panels. I'm still waiting for one. There is quite a bit of damage on them and there are still more parts to come from this same person. But we've got them. These are rough, but we have Eden to make them less rough. Yeah? Yeah, we'll try his best anyway. Yeah, we'll run you through what we've got and what we're gonna need to do to make them work. Eden? Okay. You're gonna make a whole new panel down here, aren't you? <laughs> basically. Uh, unstitch it, and I reckon just have the outer skin, basically, for the quarter panel. Um, then we're gonna actually fabricate something up the top here so it looks more sim similar to the regular E30 top bits. It's just a flat like this bit and it's gonna go so the whole way along. In the M3, it comes up higher for the boot and then the, the C pillar. This is gonna get cut out and we'll come back down to the original E30 line. Yeah, yeah. And we'll be able to weld that because we can get underneath to planish it after and do all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, basically everything's gonna to have to come off, which isn't the end of the world because we get the added benefit of being able to clean the backside of the panel. Um, yeah, we can even paint it. And do Completely it. prep it, Yeah, which yeah. is really good. Um, so as you can see, there is rust in them and there is quite a bit of rust. So we are gonna to need to use parts off the other panel that we've got attached to the E30 just to make it work. But then there are parts. We'll just have to fabricate out of steel or something like that. Yeah, like this bit here, we'll probably just fabricate something out of steel, weld it and planish it up and dress it around and stuff. I think this bit's down. This one's not too bad, but the other one down there will. Yeah. We'll have to see. see what we can use from the other quarters. I, th I think that might be different, but yeah. we might need to just reuse that's, that's some of the steel. That's a pretty easy shape anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then the dents. There is gonna to need to be a fair bit of body work done on it. It's hard to pick up, but they're like just small dents everywhere. This one has a rather large hit in the back that we'll need to knock out. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of work here. We've got them both on panel stands, so we can see underneath a little bit better. And as you can see, there is quite a huge amount of rust. We will remove the inner and outer wheel arch, but I think if we can just get a bunch of steel off in each process and then get them back to exactly what we need, we can go from there. So to start off with, we've just got to unpick all of these spot welds, keeping the panel in as good a condition as possible. And then this is going to be we fun. Have fun. <laughs> but it will be an M3 at the end of it. It's not as rusty as I thought it would be. There are some obviously parts that are completely gone. Eden's been hacking away at his. Wow, surgically removing. <laughs> surgically you're removing? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> looks, a, looks a bit hacky to me, mate. That's why they call me the butcher. The butcher. <laughs> 
because we might need to use part of the wheel arch Eden's working on, he's had to do it a little bit more surgical. Let's go with surgical, all right? Makes him feel good. Mine, we don't need any of this wheel arch because we're changing the fuel filler neck and we don't need any of this extended wheel arch. So I can just basically cut the panel off of the arch. Cut the arch off of the panel. Yeah, cut the arch off of the panel. So we don't cut the panel. Yeah, we just cut inside the wheel arch, not damaging the panel, and then remove what we need to from there. So that's the next step. We're starting to get to where we need to. You can see all the damage on this side that's gonna to need to be gotten rid of. Jacking point, completely gone. This, this needs to go like back there. And like all of that needs to be replaced. But I mean, E30 M3 panel is more than what I've got for the brand new panel. Just have to make it work. <sighs> this was hours of work. And I've still done damage to both pieces. We couldn't just leave it on there because of how much rust and damage there is to all of the other panels. It had to come off and we have to be able to treat behind everything and then refix everything. Otherwise, it could just fall apart. Right, we're now at about two days worth of work and we finally just have the panel, only the panel. Eden's been working at the same time I've been doing this one and he's further than I am. He's already stripped it, sanded it and uh, it's looking pretty good. But now we're gonna score up the paint just so the paint stripper can get inside. And then we start paint stripping. So I'll put a mask on, start scoring, start lathering. Nice. Wasn't recording that entire fucking time. Bugger. Some idiot didn't press record. It was me. You can hear it bubbling. Oh. This is where we've gotten to after the first strip. There are some spots where there was some bog or multiple layers of paint, or we just didn't put the stripper in a little bit thick enough. So I'll put another coat on this, wrap it in plastic, let it sit for a couple of Hmm, maybe an hour and then come back, clean up the rest of it and then I can sand it and give it a good, good old wipe down and then I'm going to coat it in deoxidine so it doesn't rust again straight away. Then the real fun begins. Panel beading, patch panels, you can really see how messed up this body kit bracket is. Got to work that out. Patch panel, patch panel. Here's the jacking point. We're gonna to need to replace that. This is all just chewed out and it's hard to see, but this is just full of dents. So there's a lot of work ahead, but we now have just the panel ready to go. We're finally back to a bare metal panel. I'm gonna give it a wipe down with some brake cleaner then start hitting it with some 80 grit just to take the top off, then deoxidine. You've got to do each step properly before you can move on to the next. And the only reason I know what I'm doing is because I watched Eden do it yesterday. Thanks, Eden. These f***ing chains Much better. Uh, 
panels are prepped. They're about as good as they're gonna get. Now, I've got the left side panel, brand new in a box. So we can use that as a template to then repair the parts on this panel. I'm not gonna cut up the brand new panel. Wrong again, Flanders. Where we need to repair, and I can use it as a guide. So the panel is gonna stay complete. I'm gonna start on this panel, on the passenger side of my car, right-hand drive car. But we're gonna need to turn the car around. So I'm not working in this little gap. I've got a little bit more space and we'll push the car over that way. Get a good look now because this thing isn't gonna look like much of a car very shortly. So we've got a brand new E30 M3 panel. We've got these two secondhand ones and they are just too far gone. I've had a look at them. They could be repaired. I don't have the skills to repair these and I don't have the time to repair them either. I want this car to look more like a ute very, very quickly. So I've pulled the tub out. You can see how much of the car is gone. <laughs> There's nothing left. I can use the secondhand ones to template so to make sure that I don't ruin this brand new panel. God, that thing looks sexy. When you look at it like this, you really can see how far it's gotten. Rear seat removed, parcel shelf removed, spare wheel well removed, cut out that rear wheel arch, installed the half roll cage, kind of more of a support cage, put the reinforcements down for the M4 seats, E46 steering wheel and column. When you look at it like this, you really can see how much has already happened to it. We are not even close to being finished. From here, we are still waiting for this panel to rock up, but I'm just gonna start ripping this thing apart and hope that it comes in in time, which means we'll then be able to get the tub back in, fit it off with the custom flares, custom wheel arches I've made up. This is the leftover pile of steel from the second hand ones. And I think a lot of that's probably just gonna go in the bin. So the first thing I'm gonna do is jack stand this up, get it as level as I can on the ground. The floor isn't great, but I don't wanna have any twist in the chassis when I remove these panels, cause that's gotta come off. And I'm gonna to have to cut that up so I can get the tailgate mechanism working. So the plan is jack it up, get it up on jack stands, level it, rear wheels off, doors off, because the panels that I've got come into this seam here. So I'm gonna unpick all of these, take this off, unpick here, all underneath, all in the wheel arch, there's another seam just under here that's gonna need to be taken off. And then the rear panel is gonna get cut down and then flat on the inside. So I can start working out where the tailgate is gonna go and how it's gonna function. This door will not be going back on. That one is, she's gone. But I've got a spare door. Then I need to paint strip the doors fill up the holes for that little bit of trim because I can't afford the $4,000 it's gonna cost to get the M3 doors. So I am gonna modify these to make these doors work. And it really is pretty simple. I have to fill up these holes and then it is just this bit here needs to be filled. This line is kept and this line is kept. So these are gonna get modified into an M3 door. Pretty good. And then the front is even better. So we're level enough. And this is just so when I'm cutting these rear panels off, because I'm gonna lose a lot of rigidity, a lot of stiffness, uh, I don't want it to start twisting. Hi, me. Doors off. 
Sweet. Doors off. Wheel off. Cool. If only it was that easy, eh? If only it was that easy. Let's see if it works. Ute. Nah, luck's run out. All right, have to do it the normal way. Start unpicking all of these stitches and cutting this panel off. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna enjoy this. There's some rust back there. Good thing the whole thing is going in the bin. So I've pulled all of the little bits off, trim, door sill, door latch. I'm now at the point where I think I, why will the arch work out where the spot welds are? I've got a couple of things, I've got a bracket under here that I need to remove, but we're at the point where I start marking out all of the spot welds and just start taking them off. The new panel has a full B pillar. I'm only going to remove it. I'm only going to remove it up to where the second hand panel is just to keep that little bit of extra strength. Once it gets to the point where I'm putting the brand new panel on, the rest of the B pillar will be removed. But for mocking up purposes, I'm just gonna have clearance for the second hand panel. I'm a little nervous. Ah, well, let's just get into it. This project is kind of all I think about, whether or not it's at home or here. So I have thought about the removal of this panel a lot. And now that I'm about to do it, I am still kind of nervous. I mean, this shell is worthless at this point. Until I finish this, this car is a write-off. So it's not like I'm ruining a perfectly good shell. I've already done that. I did that when I cut the, the back seats out, the, the C-pillar. I don't know, I'm just nervous. I hope this goes well. Ah, well, let's do it. Probably don't need to see me drill out maybe 40, 50 spot welds. You can skip that. I'll do that for us. Thanks. That all went extremely well. Split the seam really nicely. Now I've got to work out. So this is all brazed together. It might be hard to tell, but there is just a little bit of gold in there. So that's brazed together. I'll have to heat that up to separate that. We're loose, baby. I've separated it all along there. In the wheel arch, that's all loose. In the back, that's been loose, loosened off. The only things I've got left are across here and then this is all just brazed. The tailgate, I think if I remove this bracket, then cut, cut flat along there to the braze, then I should be able to loosen the back half of the panel. It's a shame that this has rusted away because I am going to need to use this. Probably should have removed the seam sealer, eh? You don't have smoke alarms out here that are going to get set off, do you? And if we do, it'll be all your fault. It will be, yes. <laughs> good. <laughs> That's good to know. Seam sealer's gone. Just burn it out, eh? I don't know if I'm going to get this hot enough for the braids to come out be honest. I might need to just cut down on the panel side. Yeah, I think what I'm going to need to do is just cut down on the panel side to my other cut because I don't think I'm going to get 
the braise hot enough for it to, for me to be able to separate it. At least it got rid of the seam sealer on the other side, so that won't be an issue anymore. So I just went a little bit wider on the bottom because the tailgate panel, or the panel that's gonna turn into the tailgate, had a little tab on the inside, and I thought I might as well keep as much of that as I can. So, that is now free. I do need to cut all the way down to free the rear quarter. We're gonna have a bunch of seam sealer in the wheel arch, which is, maybe I just burn it out. Nice. There's not much left of this bad boy now. Still gotta remove the other panel, but I'll do that one off camera. It was just the seam sealer holding on. There is a huge amount of seam sealer. And as soon as I heated it up, it just wanted to let go. The panel is off and it doesn't look like much of a car anymore. There's really not much left of her right now. I, I mean, it's a rolling shell. It would roll. I'd need to put the rear wheels back on. But it all went pretty well to plan. The other side came off pretty easily. But <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's nothing left. I uh, think for now, let's get the M3 panels and chuck them on and see what it looks like. I, oh, this is, this is gonna be cool. This is gonna be sick. All right, let's put them on. Probably should have left that wheel off. Oh my God, that looks so cool. <laughs> so we've got about 10 mil poke still on the tire, but it's hard to tell what it will do when it sits down. It should go up and camber in a little bit more. Okay, let's put the other side on. Because the other side is rusted out in this corner, it doesn't want to sit as well. But it fits. <laughs> oh. M3 Ute. This is going to be sick. All right, let me give you a walk around. Those lines just Those lines just make it so much cooler. Just that little bit of wide body. Oh, all right, so you can see the wheels, or the tires, there's just this tiny amount of poke still. But because we're doing whatever we want, what we can do is, so I've just made this gap a little bit bigger and I've still got to work out the tailgate so we can make it as big as we want and we're clear. How cool is that?
it's an M3 Ute. God damn, that thing looks sick. <sighs> All right, and with that, that is it for this episode. It's been a while, but it is still happening, and this is so cool. This is gonna be hard for me to top in future projects. When this is finished, like the next one after this, it's, I'm never gonna be able to do something this cool. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for following along. If you think I've done something interesting, leave me a comment, tell me what you think. Was it worth it? Was it worth all of this trouble to go to M3 rear guards? And like, these are just templates. I've got brand new ones. I've got a brand new one for this side. I'm still waiting for the other side. Was it worth all of the effort? If you think I've earned it, consider subscribing. It really helps out. Have a good one, and I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.